are there shapes in Procreate? The answer is yes, and the answer is no. What's up everybody, Visual Timmy here. And in this video, I'm gonna explain some cool features in Procreate and also explain where they fall short a little bit. So first things first, if you're drawing and you're trying to get a perfect square, you know, or a perfect circle, you might be having a little bit of a hard time. There's this cool feature in Procreate called Quick Shape. And basically, if you draw a triangle as good as you can and hold your pen and you don't lift it up, it will kind of solidify those lines into being straight lines and help you out in creating a perfect triangle. Now, if you tap your finger on the screen, it will lock in equilateral triangle and lock in increments of 15%. So you can really dial this in exactly how you want it. You can do the same for squares. Obviously, this is not that good of a square here, but if I tap on the screen, it makes it into a perfect square. You could do the same thing for circles. You can tap on the screen and it goes from being an oval to a circle. Now, there's a cool feature in here. As you can see, there's this edit shape here. When you press edit shape, it actually gives you anchor points to grab onto. So you could transform this into an oval. Boom, that's pretty sweet. If we take a square again and press edit shape, now we've got points. We can stretch this into a rectangle. We can take one of the corners and turn it into a diamond. That's pretty cool. The only thing where Procreate really lacks is in more complex shapes. Now, let's say we wanted to create a star. This is my best uh, bet to create a star from scratch. If you tap on the screen, you can see it doesn't make it into a perfect star. What you could do is edit shape. Now it says polyline because we're, we're not using a square or a circle or a triangle. And it gives us more creative control of these points. From here, you can kind of fine tune this, take some time and create a perfect, uh, a perfect star, which, you know, it works. It's better than nothing, but you're still going to have a hard time getting exactly what you want. This is where the shortfalls of Procreate come into play. If you want, you can download different types of brush packs that come pre-made with stamps that are shapes. So. If I come down here to some of my extra kits, um, graphic elements, uh, layout buddy, these are only available in my Procreate master bundle, which you can get at visualtimmy.com. But you can see here in layout buddy, we have all sorts of shapes. Um, we have the pill shape, usually used for rounded buttons and things like that. So if you're trying to get some wireframes out, this could be a good option. Uh, we also have things for lettering as well. Let's say you wanted some arched text and you wanted a little bit of an outline to give you, you know, just a rough guide that's going to be there for you as well. So in here you have the infamous rounded square. It's very hard to make a rounded square in Procreate because you have to sit there and carve the corners out and make it really smooth. And it's going to hard, be hard to get them perfect on both sides. So I've made myself these because sometimes you just need a rounded square. And Aside from this, if you come over into the graphic elements tab, you can see we have like a bunch of weird stuff in here, more like graphical effects, cool stuff. But we also have some simple things like a 12 pointed star, trying to get this to be perfectly symmetrical using the polyline tool is going to be kind of a pain in the butt. So this is here for those who want to take advantage of it. I'm sure there are a ton of sets you can download online that are free um, as well as paid ones. So it just depends on what you need. And the answer to the main question, are there shapes in Procreate? Yes and no. You can take advantage of the quick shape tool. That's a really cool tool. And if you wanna even take it to a whole nother level, you could use some pre-built shapes like these and draw them into a circle, tap on the screen, and now you can you know, rearrange these and make them into wreaths, whatever kind of thing you want. Same thing with the squares. You could put it into a square and press edit shape and do whatever you want with them. So it's really cool to have these as stamps, but also they could be used to 
use quick shape with the stamps and create some pretty cool stuff. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, if you have any more, you can go to the comments below, leave a suggestion, and uh, make sure to like the video and subscribe.